tacos are excellent with that corn tortilla shell. So we're gonna make them today. Real easy, just two ingredients. You don't even need a tortilla press or anything. We are going to make them by hand so you don't need any kind of machine or anything like that. Easy peasy. You will need to get in there with your hands, so make sure your hands are absolutely clean. Or you can use gloves, but this is for me and my family, so I don't need to. We're gonna start off with Mesa flour. We're gonna just put a couple of cups in here. I'm really not making that many. Now you're going to need some warm water and I'll put the exact measurements down in the description. Add a little bit at a time because you can't take it out. And you can start incorporating it with a spoon. You want this to turn into a dough. Add a little bit of water at a time depending on how many you're making, will determine how much water you need as well. If it feels a little sticky, add a little bit more flour. If it's a little bit too dry, add a little bit more warm water. Once you get it to a dough like this, you wanna take pieces and make them into maybe like a golf, saw, golf ball size ball. Once you have all of your balls formed, take some plastic wrap and put it down on your work surface. Cutting board, countertop, wherever you're gonna work at. Put a sheet down there. Then you wanna take one of your massa balls and put it right in the center. Take another piece of plastic wrap and put it right on top. Then from there, you need a flat bottom skillet. I am using this, this is a cast iron skillet, and the bottom of it, it has a logo on it, but it's not, it has a logo on it, but it's not raised up, so it's flat, so it won't leave an imprint. You wanna use something that's completely flat so that it won't leave an imprint on your, on your corn tortillas. And then just press down, flatten them, press straight down, get it as thin as you can. Okay. There we go. So let's do another one. And I find that they come out a little bit better shape-wise. If when you first put your dough on here, you flatten it just a little bit, bring it together a little bit, make sure it's kind of already going in that round type of shape. Now put some more plastic on top of it. And press down. That's good. Okay. All right, we're at the stove. Heat your skillet. Then we're going to take it, unwrap it, go ahead and put it in the skillet for just a few minutes on each side. Maybe, maybe, maybe one or two minutes, not long at all. Once it starts to get a little golden after a minute or two, go ahead and flip it over. 
Let it cook for another 30 seconds to a minute on the second side. We are all done. When you take them out of the skillet, you don't want to sit them on paper towels or a plain pep or a plain plate. You want to sit them on some type of cloth so that they can stay warm. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my goodness. Let me stack them up so you guys can see a little bit better. Ooh, they are still piping hot. Ooh, yes. Ooh. And they smell so good. Two ingredients, no oil, no flour press is needed. Oh my goodness, let me break off a piece so I can taste it for you guys. Mm, mm, mm. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my kitchen. Take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for joining me once again here in my kitchen. And for my channel members, thank you so much for your loyal, faithful support. Without further ado, Mm. Mm, 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 mm. For those of you all who love the corn tortillas, you got to try this. They are delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Quick and easy on top of that. Oh my goodness. Mm. I'm going to go make me a taco and get ready to eat. I will see you all next time. The good Lord willing. And the creek don't rise. Bye-bye.